guys, it's me, Meteor, and welcome back to Mario Party DS. Today we're going to be doing Toadette's Music Room. The Mario crew makes tracks for Bowser's Castle, and just then... Hey, I see that you're small and all, but can I ask you a big favor? That dumb hammer bro is beating at my music instruments. Get rid of him. Everyone jumps to the chance to be the big hero. But only one hero can face hammer bro. The superstar who gets the most stars. Alright, here we go. Attempt number three. Yes, I've so far tried doing this three times already. Well, actually two times already. So let's see if I do it this time. If not, then you're probably going to see the fourth one. Or the fifth one. Or maybe even the sixth one. We'll see. I don't know how long it's going to take me to actually win. But we'll see. Because this game is entirely luck based. And you have no chance to win unless the computer decides to be nice to you. Which, more than likely, it doesn't. But yeah, I'm going to explain the mechanics again. The gimmick of this one, which is what makes it so difficult, is that you see that note there? It starts with 5 coins, then it upgrades to the next, which is 10, then 15, then 20, and then finally 30. And then it resets itself back to the 5 one. That means it doesn't matter how crappy the computer does in the computer games and the mini games. They would always have enough coins to actually get the note, so it really depends on who manages to get there first. You also notice a couple triangles down there. They look like uh, little... Those are metronomes. If you land on those, it actually resets the star somewhere else and actually adds it to the next point value. So if it's 10, it'll go to 15. If it's 30, it'll go back to 5. Whichever. So yeah, everyone has an equal shot, which means it is all a race of whoever gets the star first. Because, honestly, that's really the only choice you're gonna have here but whatever at least I'm seconds and I could maybe roll better than Wario perhaps maybe yeah not at all why would that happen 10 coin hex why not uh, you know what I'm just gonna go up because I feel like it to get more coins sure even though it doesn't really matter in the long run Yoshi rolled a one and him and a friend will get five coins now, the computer is actually programmed... Oh, I already explained the first one. Never mind! Since Wario had the least amount of coins, you gave them to him. And now he has more coins than Peach. Let's see where Peach decides to go. To the left. Alright. So it's me and Yoshi against Wario and Peach. That's fine. I just want Wario to lose in every way possible. Cucumber Jacks. What's this one again? Oh yeah, pretty much you just slide the stylus back and forth trying to make uh, as many cuts as you can. It's quite simple. You just move it from side to side on the actual screen. And... we So many slices! There we go. That was quick. I pretty sure got like at least like 90% of those slices, but hey, he was complaining. Very simple, very quick mini game, like most of the ones that are on here. So it's not really too much of a problem at all. All right, what are we gonna do? We're gonna place the coin hex somewhere right in front of Yoshi. That makes sense. New level five. All right. Those spaces there, the hammer bro will actually move you somewhere else. In that case, he actually moved you past the star. All right, that's awesome. Good for you. Good for the computer doing that, because normally they put it like right in front of you, literally, which is always kind of annoying. Uh, can I place it? No, I can't place it anywhere. For the fine, let's put it there. Whatever. Maybe I'll land and I get extra five coins. I didn't want. Dang it! Watch, it's gonna be right in front of Wario now. Watch, it's gonna happen. Uh. Well, Wario still can't get it, so I'm happy about that. But now it's 10 coins. Alright, hopefully Peach doesn't do anything crazy. Or Yoshi. Oh, Yoshi rolls a 10. Why wouldn't you? That's completely fine. And I'm not mad at all. Yes, lose your coins. Even if I roll a 10 next turn, it still wouldn't be possible for me to get that. Actually, no, if I roll it, no, yeah. Even if I get to roll a 10... I still couldn't possibly get that star on the next turn. It would be literally impossible for me. But, whatever. Maybe I'll get on the next one. Dust Buddies! Oh boy. 
I got this one here just kind of moving on here to try and avoid getting swept up by the rug, by the vacuum. The evil vacuum of death. Best thing to do is just avoid touching anything that actually has any type of cloth or anything to it. Just jump over everything because those things get sucked in first. So this, I just stay to the top and go wherever you really want to. I'm just going to jump up here. It's all good. As are, you guys are actually surviving pretty good. We, I won? Alright, cool. Toad wins. Toad always wins. Except in the actual main gameplay because the computer tends to get to the star first. Because, you know, made a number generator stuff. Mario rules the tent, so he'll be way ahead of everyone else when it comes to getting anything ever. So in case the star appears right over there next to the metronome, which it probably will, it'll all be great. Eight. All right, I think that's actually right next to Yoshi, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what's in the item shop this time that I can actually maybe use. Hmm. I'll just take three double dice blocks. Why not? There's no star pipe, which I'm guessing the next person who's going to pass this is going to actually grab. No, I don't want to buy another item. I'm already good. Already set. And I still have enough coins for this star. It's going to blast me the musical note. Great, it'll be completely useless because next turn I'll just, you know, Yoshi's going to get it anyway. So it doesn't really matter unless Yoshi rolls like a 1, 2, or 3. Oh, nice! Although, Peach could still get it if she rolls uh, 7 or higher, actually. Or if Wario lands, rolls 1 or 2 and lands in the metronome again. But we'll see. And you roll a 7. Good job. Uh, yeah. Of course you would get the star. Why not? We well, don't even have enough coins for it anyway! Oh, you're one space behind regardless. Cool. That means I should get the star next time. Theoretically. Uh, yeah, pretty much here. I, I'm not even trying to really play this game. Pretty much, I think press and shoot, or pass and shoot, has the same control scheme, if I'm not mistaken. Basically, you want to grab this and bring it to your opponent's goal. What? No, I didn't mean to... Alright, so starts again. And I believe I shoot with... How do I shoot? Come on. Get, get the goal. Good. Sweet. Ah, dang it. How do I shoot? There you go. Oh, it's... You press B to shoot. Okay. Which is the same button it is to punch people. Cool. And I don't care. We still got a point. We still win. Good job. This game could actually end off in a tie where nobody wins if no one scores anything. Kind of like real soccer! Alright, still in first. Good. Now watch. Why is going to roll a 1 or 2 and actually cause Metronome to change the musical note somewhere else? I could see it happening. Oh, no, you roll an 8. Cool. Good. Good. Yes. Me, if I'm super awesome, I could roll, you know doubles and actually get a double star too. That would be a very nice lead. Yes, I will buy that. This might actually be my turn. This might actually be the time I actually win this. Of course, it's still too early to tell because we're only on turn four, but you know, ooh, maybe that's literally right in my path. I could seriously get a second one right now. This is good. This is actually working out quite nicely this time. Good job, Toad. And the next one's going to be well over there, which someone could actually grab right now. No biggie, I already have two stars. I don't even care! <laughs> you need 20 coins for that one anyway, so whatever. Uh, going down. Alright, normally I'd be super happy about that, but it doesn't really matter because I don't have enough- Even if I'm in the minigame next turn, I won't have enough coins for that note anyway. 
So, whatever. Unless someone lands on my, uh, trap card thing. I don't think that's very likely, though. Probably Peach. You're probably gonna give that to Peach. Yep, because she has no stars and a little amount of coins. So there you go. The only actually no, if if there's actually a battle mini game next, or if there's uh, or if uh, no, or if there's like a coin mini game, we can actually get more than ten coins. I'm not gonna be able to get that one, so it doesn't really matter. And it's not a battle mini game, so therefore. I won't be able to get the star in the next turn. But since I already have two, I don't really care. This is real easy. Just blow on the microphone. I try and actually blow out the candles. Simple. And I'm sure great for you guys to listen to. And I win. There we go. Peter's pretty close, though. Good job, Toad. You're always awesome. You're doing super great. Although it still doesn't matter because I can't get a thing next turn. So my only goal is to actually roll double dice and see what happens. Maybe I'll actually get lucky and roll the same number twice. Nope. Yeah, I know I don't have enough coins for it. Oh well. Let's see where you move me to. Way up there. Alright, maybe that'll benefit me somehow in some way, shape, or form later. Who knows? Looks like Yoshi's gonna get the first star. That's not mine. So good for him. Maybe the 30 coin note will actually be right where I'm at. Though doubtful in every way, shape, and form. Let's see what game we're gonna be playing this time. Trash Landing. Okay. Oh yeah, luck-based ones. Why not? Why wouldn't that be a thing? You want to land on whatever item you actually choose. You choose a rope and you try to find one that actually has, uh, hopefully land on one that actually has a small thing on it. And... Got it! I'm surprised I even landed on that, because that's actually the second smallest one that's on there, aside from that small little can there on the right. So I timed that perfectly. Very nice. Pretty much all survivors are given coins, regardless of how many people do it. Alright, Bowser, what are we going to do this time? If you give Yoshi a star... Wait, no, Yoshi's not, Yoshi can't get a star, because he's not in last. Wario's in last, however... Get 300 stars, which doesn't do anything. 20 coins. Alright, that's not a big deal. I honestly don't care about that at all. Because you still need to land on a star to actually get stars anyway. Doesn't matter how many coins you have, period. Triple dice set. Double dice set. And he landed coin hex for Peach. Good job. Poor Wario. Pretty much lost that break that he just got. He pretty much lost all 20 coins he just recently received. Uh, do I bother? Yeah, why not? Why not? Nine. That's useful. Come on, Yoshi. Bring Yoshi near. Perfect! Although it's Yoshi's turn anyway, so he'll be able to outdo me. Oh, 
he got himself a snack bag. He bought himself one of each item. What are you gonna do, Peach? What are you gonna do? I don't think Peach actually has enough for the star now. Congratulations, you actually made yourself not be able to get the star if you pass it. Um, yay for you. Actually, if you win the mini game, I'll say lose intentionally. Power washer. How does this one work again? Let's see here. Ah, uh, yes, I might actually end up losing this one anyway. Basically, one person shoots out a water jet and you try to avoid it. Uh, the person playing with the water jet has a far advantage over the other people. So there's that. I'm just gonna stay over here. It's when it gets to the part two where it starts getting kind of uh, crazy. Like, so you'll see that little thing lighting, because now you'll have a four-way on there. And that's when it gets a lot harder to dodge. And the computer literally ran right into that jet stream. That's alright, at least uh, Peach can't afford the star if she passes it, which she won't, because she's nowhere near the star. But still, it doesn't matter. At least I didn't give Yoshi any more coins. Not exactly the most impressive number to get from three, but hey. Who are you gonna duel? You're gonna duel me for a star, aren't you? <sighs> so of course. Why wouldn't it be? It's probably gonna be one that I'm terrible at, too. Just because. Soap Surfers. Let's see, what's this one? Now this one I don't really know, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to practice this one real quick. I know you have to stay in the center, but still, I'm not sure how it really works. Oh. Okay, well, uh, hopefully I don't lose my star, because he has real no way of... Uh, I, I kind of wish it was like the other Mario Party games, where you need like uh, at least an amount of coins to compensate for the star, instead of saying, you better star, even though you have nothing to bet with. Kind of makes it annoying, but whatever. Alright, come on. And you win. Or I win, rather. If you want, I'd be super ticked. But I didn't. So there you go. 